everyone knows a cop can pull you over and lie about you, and nobody in your local government is going to do anything about it. But did you know the U.S. Supreme Court actually wrote in one of their most important decisions that judges will knowingly let prosecutors torture the innocent? In Imbler v. Pacman, the Supreme Court said that letting people who are wrongfully convicted sue prosecutors, quote, would often prejudice criminal defendants by skewing post-conviction judicial decisions that should be made with the sole purpose of ensuring justice. What they are saying is if a judge is worried some prosecutor might get sued, the judge will ignore evidence you are innocent and keep you in prison to protect the prosecutor. Like suppose a prosecutor in Miami has someone lie about you in court and you get the death penalty. Then 10 years later, you find proof the witness lied, so you take your proof to the Supreme Court of Florida in Tallahassee. The judges at the Supreme Court of Florida are going to realize, if they admit you have evidence that proves your innocence, the prosecutor on the other side of the state might get sued. So the judges are going to ignore that you are innocent and send you to die to protect the prosecutor. The U.S. Supreme Court says appeals judges can't make honest decisions when the truth might inconvenience their fellow lawyers and politicians. But literally every other decision a judge makes can also create problems for the prosecutor. And most decisions judges make are not post-conviction decisions that affect some prosecutor on the other side of the state. Most decisions judges make affect prosecutors that judges live and work with in the same room every day. So according to the U.S. Supreme Court, it is impossible for local judges to be honest. But anyone who has been to court already knew that. What's even worse is they let dangerous felons out of prison as a reward for saying in court that you are guilty. They say the possibility some prosecutor might get sued is enough to make a judge dishonest. But being let out of prison only if he says you committed a crime won't make a felon dishonest? Obviously the Supreme Court knows letting felons out of prison will skew what those felons say, even more than fear of inconveniencing prosecutors will skew what judges say. But skewing court outcomes by offering to let felons out of prison helps prosecutors. So the real decision was never to avoid skewing court outcomes with bias. The real decision was whether to inconvenience prosecutors or torture random nobodies with lies. The U.S. Supreme Court chose the second and openly admitted that is exactly what judges are expected to do.